Welcome everyone to Friday Night Football. A little trick and a little treat on this Halloween Eve. There were six Friday night playoff games originally scheduled, but Salem and Alvarin postponed their game to Saturday at 4 o'clock. And Pelham was forced to cancel its game with Campbell. The Pythons opt out, meaning Campbell will advance. That's a terrible break for the players and coaches at Pelham. Undefeated, they were actually my pick to win the Division III title. So that's the trick. The treat is still that we have four playoff games to talk about tonight. And we start with a first round game in Division I. Top seeded Nashua North hosting Bishop Girton. Great shot of the Halloween moon, courtesy of our photo Ryan Murphy. BG's opening possession, Dylan Santososo is pressured. His pass will be intercepted by Devin Braschetti. The senior gets a good return, too, well into Cardinals territory. The turnover led to points. Curtis Harris Lopez going to throw deep to Jaden Espinal, who pulls it in in double coverage. 30 yards for the touchdown, and it was 7 to nothing. Titans. Cardinals with the ball now, and Santa Soso is going to dump off the screen pass to Charlie Bellavance, and he has some room to run, takes it out close to midfield, but that drive would stall. Then more from North and more from Harris Lopez. He keeps it up the middle, and he's going to take it 40 yards for another Titans touchdown. Harris Lopez had three passing touchdowns and the one rushing touchdown in the first half. He didn't even play in the second half. Lucas Cunningham caught two touchdown passes, kicked five extra points, and Nashua North wins 35 to 6. They play the winner of Merrimack Nashua South, the game that was moved until Sunday. A pair of three and two teams met at Shabbat McDonough Field. Memorial hosting Bedford. Bedford up 11 to 8 in the second half. Russell Irwin takes it down the far sideline. Great stiff arm there, and he takes it inside the 20 yard line. But a couple plays later, Irwin going to lose the handle. He puts the ball on the ground and Dennis Cody recovers for the Crusaders. The Bedford defense though hanging tough. Nice gang tackle at the line of scrimmage led by Alex Zwickow. Zwickow had two touchdown catches in the fourth quarter and Irwin carried 15 times for 156 yards and a score and the Bulldogs win 31 to 8. So Bedford will face the winner of tomorrow's game between Goffstown and Concord. Timberlane in the playoffs in Division II, home with Sanborn tonight on a snow-covered Owls nest. First quarter, Owls waste no time. Dominic Polaria takes it in over the left side, in for the touchdown, 7-0 Timberlane. The ensuing kickoff is a short one to Sanborn's Connor Fitzgerald. Good return for the big guy. He was a tight end converted to lineman, but the Indians couldn't do anything with the field position. Here come the Owls again. This time it's Ethan Stewart with a nice play fake up the middle, even fools our photog. Stewart keeps it around the outside, untouched for the touchdown, 14 to nothing. The Timberlane cheerleaders braving the snowy night tonight. And then more from the Owls. Polaria gets his second touchdown of the night, this time on the counter. He ran for 148 yards and two touchdowns. Dan Post added 120 yards on the ground and two scores. And the Owls win 42 to six. So they play the winner of tomorrow's game between St. Thomas and top seeded Pembroke. All right, how about this Halloween moon in the Monadnock region, thanks to Coat Dog Jason Medeski. Great quarterfinal matchup in Division Three. Monadnock hosting the defending champs from Trinity. But it was all Huskies early. Nate Doyle back to pass, and he's got a good arm. Connects with Zion Carroll, 47 yards for the touchdown, 6 to nothing. The defense came to play, too. High snap, Victor Latito gets the sack for the big loss in the backfield. The Pioneers would punt it away, and a couple plays later, Doyle finds Carroll again. This time, this goes for 80 plus yards. He outruns Peter Alessandro down the sideline. Another touchdown for the Huskies. The Pioneers playing from behind now, and Alessandro is pressured in the backfield. His pass is going to be picked off by Doyle. He'll return it down to the goal line, and this would lead to another Monadnock touchdown. It was 18 to nothing before Trinity would get on the board. Alessandro is going to roll to his right and he'll find a wide open Georgia Kuehl. This is a pioneer touchdown, but Monadnock wins 26 to 13. The Huskies will face Campbell in the Division III semifinal. A huge shout out to the Plymouth Bobcats. Last weekend at homecoming, they collected 3,200 pounds of food as part of New Hampshire Tackles Hunger, and the National Honor Society delivered the food to the Plymouth Area Food Pantry. It will make a huge difference, particularly before the holidays. This year, 78 New Hampshire high schools combined to provide over 547,000 meals for New Hampshire families. That is just awesome. Congratulations to everyone 
involved. A reminder, you can watch all of our Friday night football shows on our website. Go to WMUR.com and click on sports. 17 games left to be played this weekend. Good luck to all. All right, now let's